We're here at Mobile World Congress Los Angeles, and I'm at the MetaSwitch booth uh, with Shub Agarwal from MetaSwitch, um, and we're here to talk about 5G. So um, it's, it's the theme of the show and probably will be for several years. That's right, yeah. But uh, one of the things I wanted to kind of address, uh, you know, especially from MetaSwitch's perspective, is the 5G core. Um, yes. the, you know, as, as we went from 3G to 4G, the core changed, but not in a dramatic way. That's right. Um, so what's different now, and sort of how are, how are you getting uh, carriers ready to make that move into 5G? Um, so MetaSwitch actually has always been this cloud-native software company, mm -hmm. um, uh, really bringing the principles of cloud-native into tel telecom core. Right. Um, I think 5G is the first official um, mode of adoption of cloud-native technology to enable new services, right? So the fundamental difference with 5G is uh, it's more about service enablement versus um, performance and throughput aggregation, right? So, so 3G and 4G was all about enabling mobile data and making it better, right? This one is about making money, right? So there's a fundamental uh, change in, in the objective or the business outcome that operators are desiring with, uh, with 5G core, especially, um, and, and, and that requires a completely new way of thinking and cloud native is definitely one of the foundation um, uh, um, uh, technology that, that enables uh, this new, new, new objectives. And what you're basically saying is it's going, you know, the, the, the old objectives were sort of rooted in hardware. You yes. know, you had to have that high performance hardware yes. and that had to scale up, you know, to match the network capacity. Absolutely. Now we're talking about a different set of skills really for operators. Yes. Um, so how does the, how does the uh, you know, the MetaSwitch's background in really knowing cloud native software come into play here? Like how, how does that help you and give you a bit of an advantage when you're addressing the 5G core? So let me give you a very specific example, right? So one of the use cases or several of the use cases uh, in 5G require us to either provide high performance at edge clouds um, or co-locate um, 5G at the enterprise locations, whether it's enterprise edge or enterprise uh, clouds. Um, so one of the things that is driving the adoption of 5G or will drive the adoption of 5G is where can I deliver 5G services to? Okay. So it can be an enterprise cloud, a public cloud, or an edge cloud, which means you need a fundamental flexibility to deliver this 5G core anywhere, okay. right? And that simply cannot be done by hardware, right? So this is where right. cloud native comes into play is what we have done with our 5G core is we have containerized it, right? So it can, Day, from day one, we can actually deliver this on any cloud uh, infrastructure that is enabled by Kubernetes, okay. right? So the entire core is not just software, it's containerized so that, um, so that I get the benefits of automation across any cloud. Okay. And that's one of, the fundament, uh, one of the key outcomes of cloud native that we gain um, that will deliver the, the next generation of services. What's the, been the carrier reaction to this so far? Because this, again, give, gives them, um, like you said, a, a new outlook in terms of they can now suddenly address uh, private networks in a yes. different way, yes. in a more cost-effective way. Yes. They, can, uh, they can put services in specific spots, even maybe inside and maybe someday outside of their yes. normal uh, telco territory. So what, what's, what's been their reaction to this capability? It's been actually amazing, right? So, so we actually have um, um, another um, ca capability in our 5G core is the UPF, it's, it's very high performance. Mm -hmm. In fact, we just concluded some testing with Intel and as far as, um, as we know, we are the fastest UPF in the industry, all software and containerized, right? So the operator's reaction has been very interesting because Initially, they look, look at us from their traditional mobility lens, right? And they say, okay, how can I really use these capability? And you know, we, we do come back with um, densification of the telco cloud, lower cost, you know, lo um, automation. But then, then they see that this whole edge performance, and especially for enterprise use cases, um, is a perfect combination for them to monetize this whole private enterprise cloud or, or even some interesting uh, public cloud applications, right? right? So, so now they're seeing the attention, right? Because, uh, because what happened in the industry is that uh, the 5G that is already deployed mm -hmm. um, 
operators are realizing there's really no money in consumer mobility. Right, right? Sure. It's just more bandwidth. Right. Yeah. So, so now the operators are very interested in talking about how can I monetize 5G and private enterprise is definitely one of the use cases that everyone's looking at. Now the go-to market is going to be very interesting, but, but I think the attention is now there, yeah. right? After, after realizing that the commoditization was not con, con, contained uh, with, with the current 5G deployments. Excellent, so not just new technology, but a completely different way of, uh, of getting to a, a different business result for carriers. Absolutely. Um, this is fantastic. Uh, Shoup, thanks so much for, for speaking with us. I appreciate it. Thank you very it. much.